This is brought to you by the Alumni Association of PISJES. In this video, we will be talking about freeform motion, or let's say motion due to gravity. Uh, let's find out what happens exactly when you open your parachute and you magically start slowing down. What is the physics behind it? Now I'm throwing an apple off the cliff. Uh, I am throwing a coin off the cliff. Uh, let's say uh, I'm jumping off the cliff as well. The same cliff, right? And uh, let's say there's a car and a feather. Let's see what happens when we all fall in the same cliff at the same time. We know our formula, which says F is equal to MA, where F stands for total force. In this case, where we have three forces, first of all, we'll find out the resultant of the three forces. And as we know, we always make an arbitrary act. This is the guy. This is the applied force. And since this is the, the only force, this becomes the total force. And he'll crash at this point. So, this is where he crashed and this is our astronaut and we'll be attempting to find out the weight of this astronaut on earth as well as on moon whether and we'll see whether there is a change in the weight so we can see that if we apply the same force closer to the pivot on the doorknob it would be much more difficult than uh, previously and so we can see that physics actually works This centripetal force is actually the reason why the Earth is moving around the Sun. And this centripetal force comes from the gravitational force between the Earth and the Sun. And you can see the physics is working, guys. Spanner, I can find out uh, the moment or the turning effect, which in this case is 15 newtons meter. However, if I take a shorter spanner and apply, let's say, the same force, I would see that it would be much more difficult for me to turn the same the same bolt around because the turning effect the distance let's see the perpendicular distance is now shortened that is why i have i will have to apply more force 